Dear Stan and T-Bomb, my wife and I have been married for 13 years. The first several years was hard as hell, but around year eight, I call it the great eight, things started to smooth out. We have been living our best lives now that we are empty nesters. Our intimacy, though, has been a roller coaster ride here lately, and I need some guidance from Stan. I had numerous chats with my wife about adding more spice into our relationship, but I admit that I never gave her any ideas. I just said I wanted it to be more spicy. And then every idea she brought to me, I turned her down. So now she waits until I get really intoxicated and she does stuff to me that she knows that I wouldn't be okay with in my right sober mind. <laughs> okay, like wait, y'all. This is still me. long. It's, like I got a lot more to go. Right. Let's see. And he says, but when a man is intoxicated, he does not have all of his senses, and he and she knows this. When we were in Cancun for New Year's Eve, I woke up chained to the bed. I had no idea that she even owned handcuffs until then. She woke me up nicely, though, and I'm trying to keep this appropriate for y'all's show. She woke me up nicely. I guess y'all adults, y'all know what that means. Mm -hmm. He chained to the bed. She woke him up nicely. And then she started paddling me, and she wouldn't stop. She thought that it was amusing, and I think she did something else to me because it still feels weird back there. Mm. So are you drinking Wait. or are you taking ecstasy? Wait. What are you... This doesn't wait, sound like no wait, liquor. This that, is this is it's not sound wait, like blaming on a I'm liquor. not finished. That's all I'm going to speak on that part. Now that we are back at home, I don't even want any more added spice. Just give me the regular <laughs> missionary sex. I'm cool. She he said for Valentine's Day, I drank a lot that night and I passed out once we got upstairs. Mm. Well, she woke me up naked with a paddle in her hand and she started hitting me again. Mm. I wasn't handcuffed this time, so I shoved her, and she fell to the floor, and she hit her head. I felt horrible after that because she has never, I have never been physically aggressive in any way with my wife. She hasn't spoken much to me ever since then, and we definitely haven't had any more intimacy. I apologize to her 87 times for pushing her, um, but she still is not speaking to me. What should I do? I won't cave into her sexual tricks, though, because that's off the table now. I'm not getting paddled, and I don't like how back there felt. <laughs> he said, yeah. he said that the, the thing, the Cancun, I have PTSD, is still in my head, and I think she did more to me. And 13 years of marriage, Ooh, and now boy. we're not speaking over this, and I'm distraught. <laughs> this is a lie. Matter. Yeah, so look here, look, look, look. First of all, look here, loose booty. Let me just, <laughs> no, no. Let, me just let me just tell you something. Don't call it, him loose so, booty. It's not his fault if she did no, something to no, him. No, it is his fault. Cause you should never drink nothing that gets you that damn drunk. That you that goofy. I, I want. I you will never be that drunk in my fix life. Fix him yet. another thing. I'm just, I'm, let me, I got let me, ideas let me just tell you now. Something right now. Let me tell you something right now, sir. Let me tell, let me tell you, you something, sir. Let me tell you something, sir. Don't ever drink that. Because that's, see, see, it happened more than once, so I'm like, starting to think you just want to blame it on the liquor. Because you did this more than one time. You got paddled, choked, stabbed, a lot of stuff happened. And so you kept drinking. And so Don't you, try to front don't like you don't that. like being choked. I'm going to tell you something. Don't try to front in front of everybody I'm like you don't like I'm that. I'm going to tell you something right now. I have never had a drink in my life that made me feel like I'm going to let her abuse me. Where you wake up where your his backside is tenderonish. I don't know what you was drinking. I think it was some uh, lean. I don't think it was regular. So it's a no for me. I think this young lady is out of control. I think that that push down had to happen because she, she was but aggressive. He put, he, like, she hit her head and he pushed her. And now her, his wife is not speaking to him. Yeah, over I it. think that might benefit him a while because I think I don't want her to speak to me for a few months if this was going on because maybe we need to put some space between this thing and let her think about it because that's abuse. Like she was abusing you a little bit though, bro. And don't ever get let the handcuffs come out. Don't do that. That's so here's my thing. Okay, so I'm going to weigh I, in I on this, sir. Thank you for writing the letter. 
And so it is a little bit funny and it's a lot of stuff going on, but I'm going to try to be brief. It's fine. 13 years of marriage, I'm sure that some more spice is needed. I think since you asked for the spice, you should have given her recommendations for what kind of spice you were looking for. So if Stan wants spice and he don't tell me what he wants, then I get to decide. That's why I have choked him. That's why no, I you do. haven't. No, you haven't. No, you I haven't. Did. No, 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 no. No, you keep talking about you want to choke me. I So... You're not being honest. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now. So we wasn't doing nothing, Terry. We was watching damn TV. That don't. It count. doesn't matter. You're not supposed. It was foreplay, and I choked him, and I liked it, and and I'm. And Most now people this lady... aware of foreplay. You gotta be aware. It's not foreplay if I'm not aware. That's abuse. That's what he going through. Don't Did you, you write this, guys? This... Don't you just roll with it though? If it's foreplay, no, you and, your don't... Wa- and your woman is anything choked... that's gonna make you tender in the back, don't go for it. Don't ever let a woman convince you. Take advantage. Didn't Mary Berry teach us one thing? Rest in peace. I, we learned. Don't just let a woman put you in a trick bag. Don't do that. No. It's not a trick bag, though. We're that beat married. Set me up. Remember we're that? married. That beat set me up. I, we're that? married. I want, like this lady and this man, I want more no. spice. We can it, get a lot of spice, but it's not choking involved. Ain't no handcuffs. And you can't do none of that. So that's boring. I should be at it. You can't do that, Terry. <laughs> No, no, let's go. So, That's too much. So you all here, I'm married, I'm trying to ask for more spice in front of y'all, and y'all see what he's saying. He wanna stay boring, then then you get what you get when you get drunk and you get lit. I will not be drinking around you, lady. I'm we got to get ready to go. So, sir, I hope we helped you. Um, stay I think, sober, brother. Stay, stay sober. sober. And um, I Cannabis. think your wife... We'll start speaking to you again, but, you know, um, maybe just compromise. Maybe you say you can't handcuff me, but you can just use the paddle softly sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> compromise. Don't do it. All, All right. right. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. The city. Don't listen to her, though, bro. Don't do it. Mm-mm. I mean, you got to compromise. You're going to be in a cage. You're going to be in a cage. You got to compromise. You're going to be in a cage. Like I asked you, 